Long ago, there was a time when people lived in harmony with nature. When they knew what plants to gather and use for food and medicine and for building homes. Hunting was a sacred act of union. Gathering a rhythmic and seasonal process. Guiding movement through the land. But then everything changed. The wild was tamed and we became sick and lonely, longing. Hungry because we feel the absence of something we can't quite define. It is our belonging, our sense of connection to the land. Our planet is in a crisis of our making. The signs have been here for a while, but by now, it is truly clear that we will have to stop and think again. If we can keep our minds open, we can choose to remember what we share with the rest of creation. And we can choose to reconnect. I care about the earth. I love nature. And I know you probably do too. When I was four years old, I learned that meat came from dead animals. After making this connection, I felt I couldn't eat meat anymore. Then, when I was 11 years old, I learned even more about the animal agricultural industry, and I decided to become vegan. I then went through a journey of trying to tell everyone around me about what was going on behind the scenes. I desperately wanted people to care about animals like I did. But my efforts created the opposite reaction of my intentions. And I was met with walls of defense. I realized that I couldn't force people to change. And I couldn't judge them. All I could do was live my own life. Being open is the seed for change. You can know all of the facts and have access to all of the information. But unless you are open to what's happening to our planet, you won't be inspired to have compassion for it. Someone who has watched their ocean cough up trash won't want to use plastic. Someone who has looked deep into the eyes of an animal won't want to end its life. Someone who has walked through a forest and breathed with the trees won't want it to be destroyed. If you are connected to something, you will naturally care for it. Caring happens through connection. And connection takes time. So how can we care more? When most of us have been raised in a society that praises being busy over being still doing over listening. A society that normalized living through screens, 
under fluorescent lights, where it's okay to not know where your food comes from. How are we supposed to take time to appreciate what the earth is giving us when we feel overwhelmed by our busy lives? I decided to set up an experiment for myself. For just one week, I would go out into nature every day and sit in stillness, even just for a few moments. I didn't run or hike or go with friends and chat. I didn't want my state of mind to be in a place outside of the present moment. I wanted to find out. Could just being present in nature make me appreciate and want to help it more? Every single breath in was given to me by the trees. And every breath out I was giving back to them. Our life becomes what we direct our attention towards. How much time do I spend directing my attention towards things that don't matter? I realized what does matter to me is caring for this planet. I can tell you the facts about how the earth, as we know it, is busy dying. And I can tell you how you can help. But only you can choose to slow down and appreciate what's around you. When you really think about it, everything around you Everything you know and love came from this earth. In healing ourselves and our connection to nature, the earth will start to heal too.